been a year of new bikes for me. So let's talk about the new bike that I have to show you today. Hey, so let's talk about uh, the Flante SLR today. If you wanna know more about the Flante SL0, which I also have, that is a link up above, but the Flante SLR is the Willier. Okay, someone's gonna comment already. They're gonna be like, it's pronounced Villier. Sorry, Villier, Willier, Willier, whatever you wanna call it. I like saying Willier. Anyways, the Flante SLR is their aero bike flagship. It is their aero frame. It is their most aero bike that they offer. Now the bike I have is built up with Campagnolo, super record, 12 speed electronic group set is the wired, it is not the brand new wireless. Uh, we made our order before that was actually dropped to the public. I also have it built up with a 5339 front chain ring and 1132 cassette in the rear. Power meter is a power two max with Campagnolo super record arms. And then on top of that, uh, it's finished off with the data element uh, gosh, I can't remember. Super box stem and the bar is, oh, I don't remember what it's called. It's not the new super, I think it's the super RS bar. It's not the new one. It's the version right before that. Although I do have that new version on the Ray, on the way. Uh, outside of that, the bike is also built up disc as well. And I threw on some, uh, Victoria tires onto the Campagnolo bora wto 45 millimeter wheels now i've logged quite a few model miles on this bike uh, i think i'm about 2500 miles in i did the maryland classic on it and uh, i've done a few other races on it as well locally i've done tons of training intervals on it honestly i really like the bike uh, i did notice a difference compared to the zero frame the cool the cool thing about this Falante frame is it's only 100 grams heavier than the Zero. And the Zero is uh, Willier's climbing frame. So this one being the aero frame and only 100 grams more, that's really not that big of a deal. So I was actually super stoked on that. So in the weight department, with the weight really not being that big of a difference and there's more of an aero advantage, I've actually opted to ride this bike in all of my races. It just kind of makes sense to me. I mean, the aero gains are gonna be there. So I really have, kind of not used my other bike as much and ridden this bike more um, but at the same time this bike is super fun to ride a couple things about it is the geometry now the the geometry of the bike is pretty aggressive race style of geometry um, i actually have the bars slammed as you can see but overall it's very comfortable it fits nicely to me it rides well um, the bike freaking goes down the road it handles cornering well. I mean, I really have nothing bad to say about the bike. Now, I'm not here trying to sell you on whether you should buy this bike or not, or this frame, or these components, or anything like that. But I will say for uh, having three new bikes in the last two years, being uh, going to the Basso, going to the Willier Zero, and now the Willier Falante, I really enjoy this bike. Uh, it's definitely a fun bike. It's probably one of the, my most favorite bikes that I've owned. And I'm gonna continue riding it as long as I can. Hopefully next year we're on uh, wheelers again. If not, then I'll be maybe be making another bike change. But for now, this is what we're on and I'm actually really excited about it and super stoked on it. So so if you haven't, go check out Wheeler bikes. They're pretty cool. I mean, the frames are around the same price point as an S-Works SL8 frame. So there's really nothing new there. Bikes are expensive these days but I would definitely go check them out. If you haven't tried Campagnolo, I'd recommend to go trying it. I mean, it's different, but hey, at the end of the day, I mean, it's a good group set and it works well. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my final thoughts on the bike. I like it and I'm gonna keep riding it. Super fun to ride. Anyways, that's it for today. Hey, hope you guys keep riding and training hard and uh, I'm gonna see you guys on the next video.